not look good. Poor Ruby. <sighs> oh no. <sighs> That's it. Dex and I are officially over. It's gonna be okay, Ruby. Dex said we'd grown apart. We've only been together for four days. I'll never love again. Ruby, come on. You're a strong, vibrant, beautiful young woman. Guys will come and go, but good friends like us will last forever. Thanks, Ren. I love your friends forever speech. I know. So are you still sleeping over tonight? Oh, absolutely, and it's gonna be just us girls. Yeah, who needs boys anyway? Right, exactly. Now I'm talking nail polish, magazines, and ice cream. Dex loved ice cream. Ruby! Ruby! Dudes, Dodge Ridge just got eight inches of pure, delicate white snow last nice. night. Nice. Imagine snowboarding down those slopes with a couple of hot potatoes in your pockets. Keep your hands warm. Hey. Well, what's the difference? We can't go. Between the bus ride and the lift ticket, that's, I don't know, at least $200 per person. It's no problem. Hold on. Excuse me. I gotta use that. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Stevens Manor. Hi, Mr. Kidna. Great. Oh, good. Hold on just a second. Right. Hold on. Dee 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 Mr. Kidna. Hi. Yes. Uh huh. Great. You're confirmed. Yes, sir. Okay. Look forward to meeting you and the family, sir. Great. All right. What was that about? Well, my parents, they're going away to Napa for their anniversary, right? Donnie has an away game, and Ren is sleeping at Ruby's. I have the whole house to myself. We're going to open up a bed and breakfast this weekend. We're going to make the most of this, David. Uh, how are you going to get your parents to let you stay home alone? Mommy, can I please come with you? No. Sweetheart, now, come on now, Louis. You have our cell phone numbers, and you have the hotel number, and all the emergency numbers are programmed into the phone. Mommy! Um, I can't. I can't. Hey. Hey, soldier. Uh, come on, you're going to be all right spending the night alone. We wouldn't leave you here otherwise. You got it? Got it. Come on, Eric. Uh, I love you. I miss you already. I'm hungry. Guys, Stevens Manor Bed and Breakfast is now open for business. Welcome to the Stevens Manor. You must be the Mannings. I'm Louis Stevens. Louis? Yes. I'm Louis Manning. Oh. Always a pleasure to meet a fellow Lou. Yes, yes. My wife, Edna. Oh, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Go to con. We'll have to cash your charge, sir. Oh, okay. There you go. Alan, would you be so kind to show these lovely people to their room? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's right up this, this way here. Great. Enjoy your stay, okay? All right. Oh, Mrs. Culpepper, I presume. What a nice jacket. So how was your trip? Miserable. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, we at Stevens Manor are all about you, the guests, and helping you forget about your problems. So come here. Come here. Give me a hug. Oh. Oh. OK. Uh, this is our Lincoln bedroom here. Oh, Lewis, this is even cozier than the pictures we saw on the internet. Uh, hey, honest Dave, did he ever stay here? Um, yeah. Yeah, he just checked out. Oh, sweet if I were. I mean, Dex walked me home from school every day. Then all of a sudden he got a bus pass. He said he wants to explore the neighborhood. Uh-huh. What is that about? Uh, I don't know, Ruby. Um, Ruby, Ruby. Okay, you need to get over Dex. Yeah, you're right. Okay, from now on, this is a boy-free zone. You're a really great friend. I'm really sorry I've been blowing you off lately. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, you're gonna get over Dex. Dex who? <laughs> Girl zone, Ruby speaking. Oh, hello, Dexter. 
Oh, no, no, now's not a good time. See, I'm here with my best friend, Ren, and we are having so much fun. <laughs> ah! Good evening, Post Mrs. Culpepper. What's this? Oh, well, that's a spoon, and that's a fork, and that's a teacup. There's pulp in my orange juice. I don't like pulp in my orange juice. Well, maybe you've never given it a fair shake. Personally, I love the pulp. Gives my OJ that bright off the tree fleshy taste. Mm-mm. I don't remember asking how you liked your juice. Well, someone arrived at the b and a wee cranky. And this is the lovely Garden Cafe here at the Stevens Manor. Ah, quaint. Oh yes, quaint. We get a lot of comments from past guests about the quaintness. Of course, the crown jewel of the Garden Cafe is the lovely Tawny Dean. She's the piano player here. We call her the human jukebox because she knows all kinds of songs. <laughs> ah. Does she know I hate it here? We should have gone to Hawaii. <laughs> <clears throat> I hate it here, we should have gone to Hawaii Where they say aloha and roast little piggies Tony, thank you, okay? Thank you. Sir, for the last time, just give me a glass of orange juice sand pulp. Of course, because pulp's bad. Pulp's scary. Ooh, everybody look out for the pulp. Tom, <laughs> let me just talk to you for a second, all right? So, uh, when are we going golfing, right? Tom, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Do you want to go on a trip of a lifetime snowboarding? Yes. You do? You do. Yes. So then you gotta help the customers. You can't antagonize them. Go, help. Forget the juice. I'm turning in early. Oh, would you like me to check your room for Paul? All right, Dad, we want to go home. This place stinks. Boys, please. You <laughs> promised you'd behave now. No, you didn't. Sir, sir, I got this. All right, I got this. You guys seen the rec room yet? No? You haven't seen it? Well, oh, man. Well, there you go. There's a ball. Play safe, all right? All you have is a ping pong table? Yeah, well, I never said anything about a table, so, uh... Excuse me, excuse me. You guys pong, can I take him for a second from you? From you? Louis, did you advertise that our B&B has a licensed masseuse on staff? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Mr. Manning wants a massage. Oh, no problem. Beans, Lincoln bedroom, pronto. Swedish? Or deep tissue. Dex, that is so amazing. You scored 12 points. Ruby! And a rebound. Oh, Ruby! Whatever happened to a guy free zone, huh? Oh. Dexy Pooh, can you hold on for just one second? Ren, what is it? You have been on that phone for an hour and a half. I know, isn't it great? No. Tonight was supposed to be you and me just hanging out and then a cute boy calls and then you totally blow me off. Oh, Ren, you really think he's cute? I am so out of here. She wanders in. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get her hot meal in the shower. Okay, sleep good. Sit. I'm calling no, my Ren. dad. Ren, you're not even listening. So, Lou, how long have you been selling cars? 28 years. So, how long have you been bald? Oh, I've been. Okay, so I don't know what kind of freak show you're running here, but it's gonna end. Ren, uh, listen, just for a second. I'm raising this money for uh, needy children. Or a snowboarding trip, you know? But I mean, if you don't have a problem with that, maybe you could sleep in the basement? Please pick up. Please pick up! Ren, Ren, you're not even supposed to be here! You're supposed to be at Ruby's! I know. She bailed on me. It's like her brain turns to mush every time she lays eyes on a cute guy. Hi. Kittness, hi! Is that a problem? Uh, well, my wife and I really love your B&B, but, uh... The boys just aren't happy here. 
Yeah, I kind of have to agree with him. Your kiddie pool hardly qualifies as a uh, an aquatic center, so uh, well, I guess we'll need our money back. Dad, Dad, don't be so hyper. We don't have to leave. Um, are are you guys identical twins? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Ren Stevens, activities coordinator here at the Stevens Inn. Manor. Manor. Stevens Manor. Um, you know, if you guys are looking for some fun, I have a bunch of board games downstairs in the closet. Right. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> well, looks like you won't be needing your money back afterward, right, sir? Thank you. Thank you. I'll just take these back in. <laughs> Let me know if this is too much pressure. <laughs> wow, you're really dead. <laughs> Beans, what are you doing? If you're gonna walk on a guy's back, take off your hiking boots. <laughs> so I'm gonna get you some ice for your back, all right? Wait! You owe me 60 bucks! Oh, you landed on my kidney! <laughs> That's gonna cost you. <laughs> oh, I'll get that, and I will be back. So, no cheating, and, uh, hands off my pinkers. Okay. <laughs> Ruby! Ren, I'm really sorry for wrecking our evening. I mean, you were right. I shouldn't blow off my friends just because of some good-looking guy. Oh, you know what? No hard feelings. Okay. Well, I was thinking, if you wanted, you can come back and sleep over. Actually, I'm feeling kind of tired. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay. Ren, game's heating up. It's your move. Ooh. Oh! Just gonna hit the hay, huh? Just when the game's heating up? Ren Stevens, you are such a hypocrite. I am going home. Come on, guys. Hello? Hello? Who's this? It's Edna. Who's this? Well, this is Eileen. Where's Lewis? Hey, Lewis hurt his back. He's in a great deal of pain right now. Pain? Oh, my poor baby. Let me speak to him. Hey, listen, Eileen, I don't know who you are, but Lewis can't even sit up right now. Oh, no. All right, well, you tell him that I'll, that I'll be there in two hours and that I love him very much. Oh, I'll tell him. Oh. Good, good, good. Oh. I just got a phone call from a woman who seems to know you pretty well. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? It was your chippy, Eileen. Eileen? She said she'd be here in two hours to see her baby. I've never heard of her. Would you excuse us? Yes, maybe I'll ask that somebody have to give you some... Um, do you need a... You know, at first, I thought this was the worst idea you ever had. But Ruby and I have to admit, you had some pretty cute guests. Majorly cute. Well, uh, too bad it's all about to blow up in our faces, right? What are you talking about? Well, um, I just found out that my parents are coming home in two hours. You know, it's gonna get ugly, so I mean, if you guys want to leave, I wouldn't blame you. Okay, so we, uh, we talked it over, and we're not gonna let you go down alone. As a matter of fact, while we were outside, Ren came up with a way to get us out of this mess. Ren did? I did. You see, I should have called Mom and Dad hours ago. So now my butt's on the line, too. Yeah. So, uh, how are we gonna get all these people out of here? Hmm? It's almost... Yeah, it's almost 12 o'clock. They're all gonna want their money back. I know. Unless they don't know it's midnight. Unless they don't know it's midnight. Oh, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really know where you're going, so.
let's get up, up, up. What's all the ruckus? Oh, hello. Breakfast will now be served in the garden cafe. What time is it? It's 7 a.m. Let's get up, people. It's going to be a beautiful day. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-60s. Oh, and the skies will be mostly dark. Yeah. Let's move, people. Something smells ambrosial. Don't look at me, lady. Louis, I don't have enough time to serve all these people a full breakfast. Listen, Tawny, this is a bed and breakfast. We gave them the bed, time to give them the breakfast. Give me some strawberries. Watch out, dudes. Get the top, man, get the top. Get the top, here we go. Pour it, pour it in, pour it. There we oh, go! Oh, yeah! Alright, 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 alright. There we go. Okay. Top on. And there we have it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Someone. Oh, yeah, that looks good, huh? What the heck is this slot? Ah, oh, that's the specialty of the house deluxe breakfast comma to go, all right? Yeah. Chop, chop. Yeah. <laughs> Here, guys, drink up. Oh, uh, yeah, we're feeling a little rushed here. What? No, 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 no. See, it states clearly in your uh, your brochure, if you got one, uh, that uh, checkout time is 7 a.m. You see that, that's folks? Right. That's your gas bill. Can I at least have some coffee? Oh, uh, yeah, drink some coffee and uh, drink up. We'll get out of here. You can have seconds if there's some left. Oh, there's muffins. It now it's time to go, all right? Wait a second, wait a second. What about our luggage? Well, why don't you have your precious Eileen get it? No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all been taken care of by our complimentary packing service. Uh. Here you go. Please collect your things and follow me in an orderly fashion. This way, people. Yes. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move there you go. Up, Enjoy your straight. flight, all right? Oh. Okay, all right. Yay. Come on. Bye. There you go. Bye, Move it out. Keep going. Bye. Hurry up. Bye. Okay, good job. Come on, let's do it. All right, guys, go ahead. Go. Thanks for coming. Let's go. Move it out. Take it on out. Y'all come back out here. Thank you guys for coming. You guys were great guests. Drive safe. All right. Let's do it. You think you could drive any better? My back? My my back! Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean it went out, but um then then it came back in. So now it's it's all good, you know. Ren, you didn't stay at Ruby's? Oh well, you know, when my bro needs me, I I got your back. <laughs> She's got my back. <laughs> okay. Alright, well good then. Okay, who who is this Edna? Uh Edna Edna is a uh She's a she's a she's a school nurse. nurse. School nurse exactly. who helped me with my back. <laughs> the school nurse made a house call in the middle of the night. Excuse me, I forgot my umbrella. Oh. Oh. Who are you? I'm Edna. Who are you? I'm Eileen. You're Edna. Oh, Edna. Thank you for taking care of Lewis. Well, let me tell you something, Eileen. I had devoted my entire life to taking care of Lewis, so let me give you a little warning. Stay away from him. These school nurses are so protective. Honey, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so bushed. Can we just go to bed? I... Yeah, go to well, bed. We're gonna get you Absolutely some food. Absolutely go to bed. Some you strawberries, all right, Dad. Happy anniversary. You happy. Thank you, Bob. I recently stumbled upon a local bed and breakfast and had an experience I will never forget. It's called Stevens Manor, and it's right here in Sacramento. The cozy decor was very soothing. I usually don't sleep through the night, but when my head hit the pillow, the next thing I knew, it was morning. 
But best of all was the young hip staff, whom I found to be extremely attentive. Honey, whose turn is it to scream? Yours. 